Nuts Stockholm. Hi and welcome back to MMA Nuts Studio here in Stockholm for UFC Globen, which is the official name. And we've got two Ultimate Fighter contestants, contestants one a winner, and uh, also on the same show as we had history made in, in Swedish, Swedish Mixed Martial Arts where we had Akira on the show. First of all, what was it like to be locked up with Akira for six weeks? <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned every song that was on the radio. He sung so much. He actually got fined for singing, as a matter of fact. He got fined for singing? Fined for singing. Yes. How do you get fined for singing? Because uh, they can't air the footage because you got to do all the copyright inf infringement and all that. So Akira was just like, he just kept singing. <laughs> and then he get phone calls like, Akira, hey, telephone, stop singing. He said, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Same thing. He would do it three times. It's like, all right, all right, fuck it, you're fine. <laughs> Chawa, yeah, yeah that was for you. Yeah. <laughs> Did he stop singing after he got fined? Yes, yes. After he got fined, he stopped singing. And he got fined for his microphone being wet, too. Yes. All right. Your memory really? improves when yeah. your money gets on yeah. the line. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marcus Bremish, you're on the card. Diego Rondau, you're on the card as well. And, and, and Akira, who's finally getting a chance to represent UFC in Sweden, which is uh -huh. his home country. Um, Diego, what's your, your favorite me memory from, from Akira? When he starts, we, he's going to go train. We come back from the train. The guys from another team put his bed on the pool. <laughs> yeah. When he's come back, he say, OK, I'm going to lay down here in the pool, guys. I feel comfortable, actually. Look. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. In his little office like that, the vitamins. He's closed by then and uh, they put his stay there. He's loving his bed down there. He's, uh, <laughs> he's amazing, man. He's amazing. He's yeah. amazing guy. I love him. That All the time funny. I see him here, I'm kind of like, think about to eat something, you know, tomorrow, you know, and Akira come and make me smile, you know. <laughs> you know he's an amazing guy. So now, when the three of you reunite in a way, because I know you haven't had, you've had contact on Twitter, but not as much in, in, in person uh -huh. since the show. What's it like? Like now you're, you're experienced UFC fighters. You were striving to become UFC fighters at the time. What's uh -huh. it like now? Uh, it's good. I mean, we are, me and the kid were just talking about how the pressure in the house is like nothing like the pressure now. Like, like, uh, we're going to a fight, we got guys with us, the, our corner man, the guys who knows us, but man, when we was in the house, my God, that was that was so stressful. And, yes. you know, fighting now is, as opposed to fighting in the house, two totally different things. It's a different thing, because I think you need to cut weight three times in six weeks, mm. and a lot of food in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, from Brazil, I never have opportunity to see a lot of food like this yeah. in my life. See, like a barbecue. I'm gonna make barbecue. Boom, wait, I need to buy. No, right there, barbecue. Let's go make. <laughs> you know what I mean? Marcus, like, got him almost in fight, but you know, because why? The house is crazy. crazy. But right you almost gonna fight the two of you? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. almost, you guys need to check it on your two couples. No. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm glad I know this. So I'm in town. I'm so glad to be his friend, mm -hmm. you know, because I think I'm, he's not supposed to like me too much. <laughs> but you know, he's a very nice guy. You know, we always nice. Nice, very nice guy like Grace said, so we just talking to it and to it now. Mm -hmm. I feel so happy to be his side, I feel yeah. happy to fight. I feel, he's feel happy to have Akira, he want to destroy you. We kind of 214 against the guys now, you know? Yeah. Uh, this is why it's, it's, it's a badass right now, the time we together in the yeah. house. And you're actually fighting one of your teammates in Pablo Garza. Mm -hmm. um, how is it? How is it, man? Oh, man, it's all, it's all <laughs> business, you know? Like, uh, uh, Paolo's been doing his thing. I'm sure uh, Diego has been doing his thing, yeah. you know. Um, it, that's just a part of the fight game. You know, I, you don't want to fight somebody, but at the same time, when it happens, it happens. So it. it's, it's cool with me. I'm like, you know, I feel like a, a stepchild that, you know, parents about to split. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's cool. It's the fight business. If these things happen, and the fans want to see it, and then it gives the fans what they want to see. And I said this earlier, you know, it's... Some fans have been complaining it's not that many big names on this card. Obviously, Alexander Gustafsson falling out. But we have some potential fights of the year on this card. Mm -hmm. With You always bring it. Marcus, even Frank Trey was talking about it yesterday. You know, you're always an exciting fighter to watch. And there's so many other fights on the card as well that are very, very exciting to see, even if you don't know the names of the fighters that are in there. What's your opinion of fans that are complaining on the, the names being on the card, so to speak? 
not true MMA fans because, I mean, the the resume says it itself. Just because you know we're not on the like pay per view cards, we've never been on the pay per view card, doesn't mean that we're not good quality fighters. I mean. I mean, look at this guy, you know, <laughs> and the, the win, the ultimate fighter. Uh, Finale? The fin oh, my God. Yeah, you see? yeah that, was, that, was, that, was, that fight. was an amazing fight. You know, yeah. it was a good fight. And, you know, myself, you know, I ain't no slouch either, you know what I'm saying? Don't get twisted, <laughs> you know? So that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the real, the hardcore MMA, MMA fans know what's the deal. And I'm sure they could string along about three, four buttons to watch this car. I mean, hell, it's free. You have no excuses. <laughs> and it's an opportunity for these guys to shine, too. I mean, maybe if that commercial star power is lost a little bit, it brings more attention to these guys. Absolutely. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and again, Nima Safapur, manager for, for, uh, of, of, of plenty of fighters, including Gago Masasi and part of Alchemist with, with Marcus as well. Um, when did you start being represented by Alchemist? Um, shortly after my uh, Maximo Blanco about USC 145. What, what is the difference between no manager or someone who's maybe not as experienced and someone as big as the alchemist? What, what does it do for you differently? Uh, night and day. You know? <laughs> it's night and day. You know, the, you know, the uh, Maximo Blanco fight. I start, that's when I begin to start asking questions because, you know, I hey, dog, how much you get sponsorships? So I was like, ah. I was like, how much you get? And then, you know, start asking questions because the money is important, you know. Hey, everybody know, with that, with that email come to say insufficient fund, you're like, oh, what's going on, you know? <laughs> so, night and day, man, night and day. Mm -hmm. That's good. And we'll see who you're sponsored by, obviously. Even including your, your team, right? You know, just, just like top out shirts. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But uh, shorts too. As well. Now, your fight with with Garza. Have you done anything differently for this fight? Yeah, I've been I, I've been in great shape, you know, because a lot of people think I'm in just first rounds. You know, I don't know what people talking about, but I, I've been in shape for this fight. Pablo, I think he's a great fighting, great jiu jitsu. He's proven a lot of two best fight of the night. Yeah. It, I think I don't have anything to say about the guy. I think I just need to respect him outside the cage and range. Go there. Like Green Mark can say, we understand the business. After that, we friends again. You no, know? I think it's going to be a great fight, man. I think he, like my teammates helped me a lot. John Jones, who counts Kond, you know, we clinch. I clinch with John Jones. I, really? You wow. know what I mean? Like, uh, he cheat me, you know, the guy cheat me, John Jones, Carlos Kond, too. It's all, I feel confident. looks like I've been there before. Right. You know, so I believe you, my, my teammate is, is very good talent. He's no one is talking about it. And uh, I'm going to go down there and put it on show on Saturday. And what about you, Marcus? Uh, I told you before we had Conor McGregor in here yesterday. And it, uh, the way he speaks about fighting made me think of Braveheart. Uh, <laughs> he really hyped that fight. Have you watched Conor a lot? Yes, yes. I still do. He's on my phone right now. I'm always <laughs> thinking about Conor. <laughs> Uh, and it's been a very hyped fight. You, you both very explosive. You know, what, 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 what can we expect? Uh, fireworks. I mean, <laughs> fire the night, knockout the night is going to be on the popping with me and him. Go. This is UFC, baby. Yeah. Check it out. UFC on Saturday. <laughs> These guys are going to bring it. These guys are going to bring it. Both of you, I'm not just saying it because you're sitting here, but I'm really no. looking forward to Thanks, both man. of you guys' fight. Um, now, the Ultimate Fighter, we have a couple of new guys from the Ultimate Fighter, the last season, mm -hmm. Tor Trang, who's fighting uh, against Alan, who's also from the same <laughs> show. Have you been watching the Ultimate Fighter since you were on it yourselves? I don't have cable. I, I, <laughs> I me too. I'm going to be serious. Yeah. I don't have a cable, and uh, it's, my life in America is different, no? It's, it's like a trainer, go back home, play gaming, sleeping. See, they, that's the fire slide. That's not yeah. American, that's a fire slide, yeah. yeah because I, I, the news... I don't like watch TV too much because sometimes I make me miss home and make mess my mind. I think it be easy, you know. And uh, watch the ultimate fight, it, it, it's it's like a dream. I told him yesterday, like w when I saw him, bro, we are not ultimate fight a couple mm -hmm. months ago, either whatever. Yeah, we are, but it looks like a dream in my mind. So it, it, I, I keep watching the, the trophy, but I keep wait wait what I keep waiting. I don't like it too. No, no way. I mean, I keep him like way from because some distance. Yeah, some distance. It's too crazy, man. It's, you need to go in the ultimate fight tryouts. You see. Yeah. <laughs> and we will on April fifteenth, actually. Yeah. Uh, now, last question 
for you, Diego. Uh, it was a big joke played, a prank played by Vandalay Silva on Nima in a way because yeah. it was Gago yeah. Massas saying he's going to come yeah. here and fight. Came on camera later on and said it was an April Fool's joke and explained it to everyone how, how it was a joke and so on. In the end of that interview, he spends a good minute and a half talking about you and, and how he wishes you the best and how you represent in Brazil and so on. How does it feel to watch something like that? It goes around worldwide, having Vanderlei Silva, by many respected, considered the best and the biggest name in mixed martial arts till today, talking about you and your fight. I know, before you finish the question, my heart starts like, you know, is, bro, the guy is a legend in Brazil, you know? So let's go start like that. Now, when I saw the video, I said, hey, Jeb, it's a joke, check this out. I mean, like, I can't believe it's not joking. People does not know yet. And when I check and say, it's like, guys, I'm joking. I start to hear. When I come to the part, nobody say from me, Jake, check it out because he's talking about you. He's done that. People say, is that joking? I don't know what's coming up. But when I see this, it's like, make me, make me go, you know, makes me like, I'm going to be the mini Vandalese on Saturday night. It's like the time of the pride. Yeah. Fight for the big guy. Because always I dream, like when they saw Bob Sal fight against Minotauro. I saw Vandele Silva fight with the big guy and say, oh man, this is guy's tough. How the guy fight with a big guy like that? The guy gonna kill him and punch him. But not, you know, he's a fight, you know, he's a make me motivate a lot, a lot, man. He, he, I tell Vandele Silva in the phone, I make interviews. I say, Vandele Silva, you me motivate a lot. You don't even understand how strong I feel inside right now. And he say, I'm, go Diego, I'm gonna watch you. You have my style. It's a, it's a lot like you go to, Hoyle or Hickson Grace Treno and Hickson tell him, man, you talent. You gonna go home, Hickson Grace, Hoyle say, I'm a talent. I'm gonna go run, train, you know, make me excited, man. I, I'm really gonna put a great show on Saturday night. And we're excited too. Again, make sure even fuel, you have fuel, make sure you go on Facebook as well and watch these two guys. Amazing fights, potential. Like I said, not just fight of the night, but fight of the year. Make sure you don't blink because you're going to end in a second. Guys, thank you so much for coming into the studio. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us on, baby. Thank you. It has been hunted since the beginning of man. It has challenged us to become better, faster, and more determined. Failure is part of the game, but never accepted. But as sweet as it may taste in the end, it's the pursuit that defines those in it. Here's to victory. Next chance to join the chase. Betta live i mobilen. Nu dubblar vi din första insättning. Betsafe.com. In it to win it.